All right, welcome back. We got another vast fire flashlight. This one's kind of vague on the uh, description. It doesn't have an actual model number or anything. But on the box, it does say DO7C11. So I don't know if that's the actual number or not. Uh, XHP90 is the LED. Uh, it's $49.99 on Amazon. Right now you can get 20% off with the coupon. Uh, let's get on into it. It's actually one of the smallest flashlights I've gotten from Vastfire. Uh, besides their UV light, still haven't fully reviewed that one yet. It's not even on Amazon, so it's really no rush. I guess we can get in, a, get on into the box. We're losing everything here, though. Get a little small box, nothing in it, other than you get an 18650 adapter, and say you want to run it with uh, some AAAs. I didn't test it, so I'm just running with the battery that came with it. It is USB-C charging, and you get a USB-C to USB-A cable. It's about, a, I'd say, about a foot. Comes in bubble wrap. So here's a light. It is a zoomable light. I'm not a big fan of zoomable lights. A uh, few are cool. Me, I'd rather just have a light that has more of a purpose. If this would have just been stuck at a specific focal point, I'd have been more than happy with that. Uh, it seems like you get a lot of loss of clarity with uh, with these little mag magnification lights. Uh, you get a big white ring around everything, and if you zoom in too much, then it looks like you're looking through a window. But, not to discourage you from buying it, let's get on into the light. Uh, you will have to take off the cap, and there is a piece of paper on the end of the battery. We can start with the button, or I'm sorry, with the tail cap. There's no button on it. Machine aluminum. Go. I don't even know what size battery this is. 26650? Okay. I don't know who makes it. Uh, it just says 5000 milliamp, 3.6 volt, 4.2 volt. There's your battery. It is a button top, so if you wanted to, you could slap this in a charger. Show the cool little milling they did. Not sure how well you can see it. We can get closer though. Not much light. I'm under the uh, the awning and the sun is way off that general direction. I got the vast fire floodlight though, putting in extra work. So there you go. Put this sucker back together. I've already done the uh, night shot to this. I'm just doing the intro, showing you all the, about the light, and then we'll do the outro. My final thoughts, letting you know what I think about this light. So you got your USB-A output. Output, you can charge a phone with this at a snail's pace. Uh, it's not too quick. And your USB-C input. It is faster than some lights. I, honestly, it's faster than a power bank I just spent $10 at Walmart for. Um, so you turn it on, you get a battery indicator showing your levels of 25 increments, like 25% increments, I'm guessing. You get your power switch light. It looks like it's flashing, but it's not. Uh, your first one, you're high. Your low, which is actually noticeable compared to the uh, uh, the headlamp that I got from them. And then you get a strobe. You double tap it, then it goes straight to the little side light. That's your high. Hit it again. Goes to low, to red, constant, and then red SOS. So... I guess I can show you what the actual LED looks like if you're interested in, that, in all that. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty sizable LED. I think it's similar to what was in the headlamp. Um, I think the headlamp, honestly, was a lot brighter because of the bezel. Uh, the bezel is a good, I'd say, half inch, three quarter inch bigger than this one. So there you go. Really not much else to know about it. Uh, does it come with any extra ga gadgets or doodads or anything like that? I think it would have been a lot better to have the light where the charging port stuff is and then that where the light is that way when you're hitting the button it's not shooting off to the left it's actually aiming down at the ground so you want to look where you're you're walking at night it does come with a paracord a little lanyard it does have a little quick detach aka fail point i think if it had just been all this was but gone and just had just tethered on there like that. That would have been a lot better. This is just nitpicking, guys. All right, so let's uh, show you the uh, nighttime shots. All right, so the way you see it is the way I see it. I'm going to show you the Baton Pro Max from Olight 2500 Full Lumens. This is a 90 
80 to $90 flashlight, depending on which one you get. This is the, this is the magnesium cool white. Back it out. You can see it's got a pretty good spill on it. See all the way out to the fence line out there. You can zoom in on a three times zoom. You can see the fence line to the top left. That's going to be the vast fire. It's going to be on high. Zoomed out all the way. The, sp the spill isn't as good. The flood isn't. Go back to one. Uh, you can zoom in and you can see a lot farther with this. It's starting to turn into a square, but it's not quite a window. Now it's a window. You can see the fence line a lot better out there. And you can still see it as I zoom out. There's your low. This would be good if you're just trying to have enough light for yourself. But if you're trying to light the way for a group of people, I don't think this would be the light for you. You got your SOS. We can look down here. This uh, little small light isn't going to be the greatest. But I mean, it'll work if you're needing something in front of you. Like you can set this uh, on the ground. Like you got to set, like you got to change a tire or something. Yeah, you can see it does pretty decent. Hell, you can even use it on low, and that'd be enough light to change a tire. There's your red. Red SOS for shits and giggles. There you go. It's pretty washed out, even on low. So, what do you think? All right, we're back up top. I did find a model number underneath Fast Fire uh, CAF126P90. Out of the box, everything came pretty nice. It's uh, not in bad shape or anything. Also, lose the dish. The paracord could have gone somewhere else, especially since there's not a button here. You could have put like a little nub or something out the side to have the paracord go on. And uh, you could have shrunk this down by a quarter of an inch or hell, stuck a really <clears throat> a really strong neodymium magnet. That way, it, you know, if you put it on metal, like, you know, you, you know you've all been a kid and dad's like, yeah, hold this flashlight. And then he's like, no, you stupid ass. And he like smacks you and, and like, put it right here. And the rest of the day, you, you're just... You're, playing Nintendo is just ruined because you're just your head hurts or just me um, I think it's a pretty good light for what it is especially for the price when I say $49.99 you get a 20% coupon this was sent to me from Vast Fire I did not purchase this but I don't think it's 5,000 lumens there's a zero chance it's 5,000 lumens I showed you what it looked like in comparison to the Olight Baton Baton 3 Pro Max this was a $90 light this was a, say, 40-ish, $35 light. Yeah. Good size difference. Same battery. This has a 26650, I think. Don't quote me on that. It might be smaller. But you can charge a phone with this. USB-C charging. You know, it doesn't require a magnetic charger to have it charged. I just... If the head would have been not zoomable, I would have been so much more happier with it. I wouldn't even have cared if it had been just a little dimmer. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. So it does have a two-year warranty or 60-day return policy. I, it says this is an EDC light, but it does not have a, a clip. And really, there's no pants that this is really going to fit in. That's going to be an EDC style light, unless it has a holster, which it does not have. I think this is a great light, though. I think if you keep it plugged in in your car, I do have a flashlight that I've kept constantly plugged into my car for over four years. And I think that's what this needs to be uh, used for mainly. Uh, just a good backup light, something you keep constantly plugged in. You know, they give you the the cable, or you can use a you know, cell phone charger. Uh, I don't think you can recharge this with uh, the Samsung super fast charger. I don't think it actually works. It's the circuitry with the brick uh, for the charger. But uh, like I said, it's a pretty nice light. 
it just has limitations. I could deal without this, say five bucks. That's cool. Standard bezel, not this zoomable BS. Um, might even be cheaper. Then you can have a good deep dish, not a pizza, deep dish reflector, uh, aluminum. Maybe even fit a bigger LED in there if you wanted to. I think the power of it is just fine. You can have a big battery. Uh, go on searches, looking for people or animals you might hit with your car. <laughs> Pretty decent though. I want to thank Vastfire for sending this. Uh, everything they've sent me has been really good quality and I've never had anything break. So there you go. Oh, also that sucks. You can't put this bezel down because it just does this. Just now I realized that. So we're going to scratch the hell out of the, the top of that plastic lens. Is it plastic? We shall see. Uno momento. Oh, nope, it's, it's plastic. Yep, it's plastic. Okay, well, there you go, guys. I have a link below to Amazon. Hopefully you can get that, uh, that good uh, coupon code still. We'll be seeing you.